Yeah, I'm mad. I'm more than a little upset with the game. I just played water. <laughs> anyway, after I finish these guys off, you will join me and I will continue going through this cave and we will see what's ahead. We will not let his death be in vain. Well, three bread later, I'm semi-healed and ready to maybe live. Let's see what we got here. We got an Odick. <laughs> his name is Odick. I love it. That's terrible. Just terrible. Oh, of course, they're going to use magic, so I don't know if this Aurora is going to help with that or not. But it helps with not getting my face pounded in, so that's something. Oh, man, I am, I am unhappy with the world right now. I am so unhappy with the world. <laughs> the dwarf. Come on, dwarf. Kill the druze. Damn, pretty good. Not going to lie, that was pretty strong. Alright, I'm going to call Moji in, since I guess I couldn't hurt that dragon any other way. I am just, yeah, I am just totally out of sorts about what happened. That's that's just an unfortunate turn of events. This Mojo's got a lot of hit points going for him. Can I take out that Druze, will you? Wow, Destroy's not cool. I don't have Destroy magic anymore. Stop showing off magic I can no longer use. Mojo! Alright, the Druze is down. The Druze. That really sounds like a hilarious nickname for some guy in a frat, doesn't it? Doesn't it really? Alright, guys. Kill. Kill, kill, kill the Odick. We've had enough of Odick. Kill him. Holy crap! Okay, I take it back what I said about Moja. That was ridiculous. Damn. Powerful. Let's get ourselves a treasure. Be a fragment of hope. Or 300 rupees, I guess. Considering we just dropped 12 or 13 large at that little stump in the uh, of a woods place, that's pretty crazy. Alright, so we're in a new area. I'm assuming the enemies are going to be... Well, that's a geist. That's not a big deal. If they're not new enemies, that would be a huge boon to my chances. we got a desert here. And, oh, we got a fairy pond. Let's go here. Hello, fairy pond. What you got? Yep. Good. Yep. Excellent. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We can go back to where we were over there, or we can go south. Let's see what's south. we got a cave... Alright, well, we're just going to go down this way and we'll see how far we can go. We'll take brooms back to that uh, fairy pond when we run out of spots to see what we're looking at. I'm at Dakoa. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. Yeah, he actually was pretty adorable for once. Not not in looks. The looks department, that was not happening. So this just appears to be like water? No? Okay, we don't want to go in here. So I'm quickly going to go use and get my brooms. And the new place is called Tanya, I'd be assuming, because I don't recognize the name. Yep, that's it. So let's quickly just fill up here and we'll go explore the other way, because I don't know what I'm really facing here. I've definitely not seen this chunk of the world to see what, what's uh, awaiting us, you know? One of those things. Alright. Let's go this way and see what other things. There's got to be a town over here somewhere. That's kind of what I'm hoping to find. See if we can get ourselves something that'll be good for us. A white. Have we seen whites? I do not recall if we have. Let's call the elf in. Maybe the elf will be our new. Uh, sorry, he's a fighter. He's not the one I wanted. I wanted. Sorry, I wanted the uh, the rapier. Oh god. Yeah, the halfling kind of sucks. Really bad. If you wanted to get taken away with the dragon, that would have been great. But no, I'm an idiot. Rapier's the one I want. Come on, elf. Not the halfling, I want the elf. I mean, to me, they're basically the same damn thing. But you know what? No, you're gonna defend, because your power sucks. She's got magic defense, physical defense, hold, and dark. Well, let's try hold on the white. Of course not. Ouchie! That's not cool. Alright, well, let's call in the uh, slug. Boo. White's just a physical attacker. Well, let's continue on down here and see what we can find. We must be getting close to something soon. Not another white. Boo on the white. Alright. How about over here? I see a fairy pond. That's good. I see a mushroom nearby, too. Well, this means we have two places we can warp between now, so that in a close proximity, but saves us walking time, so that's good. Alright, so we're filled up again. That's nice. Hopefully that mushroom's a town. Let's see if it is. Yep, it's a town. Excellent. So let's see what's going on in this place. Orange moon, okay. Well, why is it all run down? 
You guys stopped taking care of it, or what? Hey, purple lady, tell me what's going on. The slug is weaker than the frog, and the frog trembles at the sight of the snake. Uh-huh. Three-corner deadlock. Uh-huh, okay. Well, my slug can kick anything's ass. Although, apparently, Moja's got more strength going on. Uh-huh. Really? Because unless they went to war with the white lion, the white lion's still being a dick. I'm just saying, that's what it is. Silver shining stone deep within the cave. Uh, it's certainly defeat the enemy. Alright. How about you? Took the doll from a girl in the town of Spirits Tower and buried it in the ground. Oh yeah! He buried it on the palm tree road, so we'll have to search that road on the way out of town and see if we can find that doll. Might be worth going to check this stuff out. How do you got? The Klein Jug, which can suck in all the water of the lake. Two-headed snake is keeping. Well, I've got a slug for it. <laughs> I probably should have paid more attention to what was said. Anyway. The creature enclosed in silver cup has the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse. A centaur. Ooh. Oh, he'll protect me. Cool. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's great. If I need Twana, I'm screwed. There's a frog monster. Alright. Interesting. Oh, we got a merchant. Hello, merchant man. We got, we got the L sword, which I've already bought. An Aurora, which is more expensive here, and then a whip. There was a whip in another town. Was this... It costs so much, though. It's got to be worth it, right? Let's buy it. Alright, so I'll have to try out the whip next time I'm in a battle and see if it's any better than the sword. Did I already talked to you? I think I did, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. Alright, so let's go search this roadway, and we'll talk to that person with the this is afraid of this and this is afraid of that stuff, because I want to uh, have that in mind in case it's important. Nothing here, alright. Alright, and nothing, alright. And we have a doll. Cool, so we got the doll. Excellent, so we'll have to go to the spirit tower next to return that and see if we get something cool. Now what did you say again? The slug is weaker than the frog, and the frog trembles at the sight of the snake. However, the snake can't move at the sight of the slug. So, snake loses to the slug, which loses to the frog, which loses to the snake. Alright. See, they really don't have hands and feet, do they, exactly? Not like, you know, like in the conventional sense. Anyway, I guess we'll head back to Rania here real quick, broom style. And, uh, actually no, we're going to explore over this way first to make sure we, uh, know what's what here in this land. What the hell is that? Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that Aurora is worth its weight in gold, man. Or rubies in this case, as the case may be. Uh, let's call in our Crystal Giant Man. See what Crystal Giant Man can do. Not a lot of hit points for that ugly looking giant, is there? Take him down. Damn, that's nice. That's less nice. <laughs> uh, fight, uh, let's call in uh, Moja. Because Moja, as we all know, is super duper powerful and my new best friend forever, apparently. Damn. Oh, don't hit the actual girl. Hit the giant. He's going to go down anyway. Well, I guess no one's going down. So it looks like I can probably get by without Twana's magic, but it's going to require a lot of summoning. I'm, like, even more than I was going to do with him. What's up here? This looks like a big old lake, so that's probably what that emptying the lake item is for. Just a golem. Oh, no, not a golem. Although it looks nothing like a golem, but whatever. Alright, so let's continue on down here and see what else is in this area. There's a cave there that goes through... So that probably is what leads to that lake where I've got to use that item, right? Right, and what's down here? There's a cave here. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to play with in this area, but for now, I'm going to get myself up to that spirit tower. You will join me there. Alright, we're back in town here, so let's see. Where's the little girl? That's probably her? Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, isn't this where I have to go? Please tell me this is where I have to go. Okay. No, oh, there's a little girl up there. Okay, good. Please tell me this is it. Oh, of course, I can't walk through a friggin' chair. That would be ridiculous. No problem. An F-sword. 
Alright, we'll have to test out the F-Sword and the Whip, actually. That'll be our job. Anyway, you'll join me back on the... Hey, out of the way. You'll join me back on the outside where I'll test these weapons. Actually, I can test them right in here as I exit. Because this is a place that has the testability ability to it. Because there's enemies here, you see. I haven't tested anything on the way up. I've just been pounding the L-Sword into everything. Oh, man. So not thinking sometimes. Mr. Rockman. Hey, Mr. Rockman. We are going to use our... Well, let's try the F-Sword since we just got it. Use the F-Sword. Okay, Sword of Light does 86 damage. That is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, I, I, I can get behind such an idea. And you are going to use the Whip this time. Let's see what happens to this guy. Lightning Whip, 125. Holy crap. Screw the F-Sword. So, I guess once I get out of here, I am going to go back to bread. I'm gonna dump any items I can that I don't need. And then I am going to buy as much bread as I can, and then I'm going to head back over to uh, the land of plenty over there. And I'm probably just going to get started on uh, dealing with the, uh, the caves and things of that area and see what I can find. Alright, un momento. Alright, well, I figure I'm going to start right here and get attacked by iron, because that's something I wanted to have happen right at this moment. Because that's what we need in the world. Oh, he attacked before I could get my Aurora in place. Boo! He's just going to be another physical attacker. Unless he does something different, I'm just going to cut away from this. Because you don't need to see me whip him in the face a bunch. So yeah, we're going to head into this cave. Which, um... Oh, there's a pyramid right there. That's probably where i got to drive up the lake to get to. Oh, good. I get attacked by Odick. Odick can go suck an Odick, is what I say to that. That's just mean. I'm sorry. Hey, guess what? Odick has got... Um, destroy magic, which does over 100 damage, so, uh, yeah. He really is an O-Dick, and he can go suck an O-Dick. As previously stated, he can go do that. I came in here with 15 bread, I'm already gonna be down to 12. Not exactly the greatest start to my little entrance to this place. Now, this is probably that witch, right? Yep. Okay. You want the Klein Jug. A snake called Hydra is keeping it. If I use the jug at the cave leading to the Gate of Evil... I can get to the White Lion, but I need two statues, alright? Alright, so that was probably a clue for us, telling us what's ahead of us here. Let's see what we need to do. Oh good, it's these guys again. Seriously, this is not gonna go well if you guys just keep murdering all my hit points out of me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my courage, my courage. Oh, man. Already a third of my bread gone, and I'm only on the second screen of the cave. <laughs> Good start. Okay, what are we get? Okay, to get it, you gotta step on it. Now, let's see what we get. Uh-huh. An S cup. What the... What the F is an F... An F cup. What the F is an S cup? I have no idea what that is. We'll have to check it in battle, I guess, because there's no safer place in this game to test stuff than when you're fighting golems, I tell you. There's nothing safer. Come on now, could you please not get all your hit points raped out of you before you use that? Alright, let's call in, uh... Oh, S-Cup is a summon. Well, let's see. It's a centaur. He's a fighter and a defender. Alright. He's about to be a dead defender and fighter. <laughs> Alright. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Alright, so I'm pretty beat up, so I'm going to exit and go back to the... Oh, this is good. <laughs> I'm going to go back to that fairy pod that I'm going to uh, refill, and then I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so we're back here. we got a few different places to go. Let's just do this methodically. So we're going downstairs. Let's go left. Ooh, a chest. What are we going to get in this chest? we got a gold rock. I have too many things to carry. Okay, because I just... Because I just bought a bunch of bread, so of course, I have no room. Because I maxed it out. That's fine. Bread is pretty cheap. I can always replace it on the on the, on the the sly. So, let's actually use another one, just to make sure. Because there might be more treasure in this cave. We may as well have the room, so we don't got to keep doing this. Plus, you know, enemies. A gold rock. We'll have to see what the gold rock does in battle. I'm assuming it's another summon. All I know is that centaur seems to be about ten kinds of crap. Alright, let's see what we got here. Well, first things first, as always, the Aurora seems to be the best step when you start a battle. 
gives them such a minimal chance of hurting you compared to what they normally do. It's like a cuts their damage down by two thirds. That's that's pretty huge. All right, so maybe it's a summon. Gold Rock is a summon. We got a gnome who looks like it might be a ma magical user. Crushes all it's got. Well, that's something, I guess. That's something. But that's not really that much of something, and he's gonna die anyway. <laughs> yeah. Great. Alright, let's keep moving here. Well, we got a chest right there. That sounds good to me. What do we got? Ooh, a fragment of hope. Nice. Up to 20. 475. Damn. So yeah, I think your your different summons level up as you collect each fragment. So if you want to make some of the later fragments better, yeah, I think you do really do have to, you know, leave fragments that you can get easily and still try to make through on the bare minimum. That has an interesting dynamic. I know I've talked about this already, but it bears repeating. It seems to exist as such. Right after I get a fragment, of course, I run into an O-Dick who proceeds to put up an invisible wall that makes him hard to hit. And then, just to top that shit sandwich off, <laughs> the guy proceeds to uh, do other horrible, awful things and whittle my hit points down. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, I think that's the last path I saw when I went down the other way, so let's go over here. Not you again. And that time they managed barely any damage. Go figure. What do we got here? We got bread. So, I think we're done here. So, uh, after I fill up at the ferry pond, I am going to head to that lake area way down the way, I think, because because it could be fun. Actually, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. i got to think this through, though. Alright, so we're going to head south from here and get attacked by an eye fleet that wants to murder me in my bed. No, we're going to go check out that lake, because the person who mentioned the whole slug and the frog thing, I'm assuming I find a frog at a lake, so that's where I'm going to go next, based off of, you know, using this thing called logic, which normally applies in games, but not always, as we're well aware. Alright, getting attacked a lot, I really appreciate the game upping the uh, difficulty here out of nowhere, I really appreciate that. I also really appreciate being down over 100 hit points, despite the fact that I've done absolutely nothing so far. And another Ed attack, of course. Ye gods. Despite how scary those eye fleets look, they don't really don't seem that dangerous, do they? No, they don't. Oh good, another golem! Alright, so let's see what we got in here. Wait, that's the same thing I did last time. I accidented. Fantastic. All right, let's go down to that. We actually, why does why does this screen exist? Why could you not just put me right into the the lake cave here? Come on, game. Come on, throw me a freaking bone here. It would be nice. That is really a scary looking thing. It really does look like a diglet with its mouth wide open, does it not? Just a little bit. Up or down? Let's go down. Let's see what's what. Alright, so far so good. A double golem attack. Well, now I can no longer quite do what I've been doing. I might have to start calling some people in, finally. Alright, all healed up, for the most part. After slugging some bread. Let's see what we got. Hopefully something easy. No, it looks like we are going to be taking on... I'm assuming that's the frog. Let's see. Yes, I do. Oh, my goodness, it's a huge frog. Well, I got a huge slug for him. But that's going to have to wait till next time. Join us then when we will take on this enemy and finish this cave and move on with life. Join us then.